Hey guys, today I'm going to showcase something that's pretty awesome, a Heroku to Salesforce connection. More specifically, I'm going to host a Node.js application on Heroku and use this connection to Salesforce to modify some data in the org. So a lot of you may be wondering, why would I even want to connect Heroku to Salesforce? So let me show you an example application that is built in Node.js that connects to a Salesforce database and explain a use case. So an example use case of an application that connects from Heroku to Salesforce is I'm a data entry contractor and don't need access to the full organization. So instead of changing a phone number from here and then going into edit and then into the record and going say I want to change this number to one and then save it. I can go to the application. So it's 999999991. I'm going to go to, I'm going to say Edna, Frank, and change, the, put the email. And of course you can change the form however you would like. And I'm just going to do 999999992 because uh, it's one right now. And I'm going to update the phone number. And now it says record updated. So let me refresh the page. And there it is. So this is just one of many use cases that one can do and update data, delete data, insert records from forms like these so that people don't need access to your organization and you can customize it however you would like it. So here's a brief overview of how it's done in the back end. So there's these two things called Heroku Postgres and Heroku Connect. So Heroku Connect is what is doing all the magic that is creating the mapping of the contact object and all the fields are mapped. So these are the fields that you can use in your form. And this is Heroku Postgres, which is the data part, which helps uh, see the amount of records and how much data is in your org and things like that. I'll hopefully add some, uh, do a more in-depth tutorial in the future and also post some more links. But this is just a brief overview of how to get started. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.